Update 24.3 is live on PC, and the first bit of information provided is that the minimum supported specifications for Warframe has changed. Now, DE will only support upwards of 64-bit versions of Windows 7, DirectX 10 capable graphics cards, and 4GB of RAM or higher systems. Now, as for the content in Hotfix 24.3, the Nightwave system has launched and in doing so it has removed alerts from the World State window, with the exception of Barracketeer notifications, Maru's weekly I-10 mission, Help Clem, Tactical alerts and the Gift of the Lotus alerts. As for Nightwave, for those uninformed it is similar to a Battle Pass, in that the game now features seasons where players can earn rewards by completing weekly and daily challenges which ranks up their new season tier and also provides the player with exclusive tier rewards such as a Noggle, Sigil, Glyphs, Weapon and Warframe slots, Former Bundles, Emotes, Kuva, Mods, Arcanes, Captura Scenes, an Armor Set, a Cyandana, Umbra, Former, and Wolf Credits. Now players who reach the max tier rank can also prestige and repeat the process again to earn more Wolf Credits. The Wolf Credits are used to purchase old and new items such as alternate Warframe helmets, Aura mods, reactors, catalysts, bundles of nitine, bourbon parts, weapon skins, and ornaments, all of which cycle in and out of the cred offering storefront weekly. These credits for the first season, the Wolf of Saturn 6, will be converted into normal credits once the season ends, so make sure to spend those credits before the end date, which we currently don't know. Now to jump back a bit, those wondering about Umbra Former, this allows you to apply the umbral polarities onto your other warframes. Also to clarify, there is no monetization with this system, and all rewards must be earned by playing the game. The daily and weekly challenges are also passively activated, so you don't have to select them each day you log on. All you need to do is check what the requirements are to complete them, and then head out to the star chart and earn the standing. Something I've failed to mention so far is how to access the Nightwave UI. The Nightwave terminal can be accessed via the Orbiter radio or by selecting the Nightwave tab in the bottom right hand side of your screen when you are in your menu. Something that can also be done within the star chart and while in mission. As for the changes that came in update 24.3, DE swapped the damage type of the Mutilus Quanta from Electric to Toxin, and they also increase its explosion range to 8 meters. The radio chatter toggle was also moved to the audio section of your settings, and they did remove the XP challenges from missions in support of the Nightwave challenges. Now the UI also saw some fixes and changes. Prerequisite research items and completed material requirements now feature a check mark. The tips and highlights order has also been swapped in the operator customization screen, Scroll bars will now default to their condensed mode where necessary, and the trading UI screen features themed particle effects. Both the UI and update fixes are available on your screen to read or check out on the forum post. Links to the sources are of course in the description down below. To finish the video up, they also released Hotfix 24.3.1 afterwards that reduced the frequency of Nora's radio transmissions, and of course because it is Hotfix, there were game fixes in there as well, which once again are available on your screen.